424 editor Gary Lamley and chief writer Rob Howing are with us this lunchtime to give us a recap of some of the big results from the weekend and sporting talking points. Gents, good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming in. Afternoon, Rob. Howing. I'm going to uh, I beg your pardon, Gary. I'm going to start with you being our, our golf guru. <laughs> the U.S. Open, of course, finishing last night, wrapping up, and uh, Brooks Kupka with a four-shot win, uh, dueling mostly. Mm -hmm. Uh, with his fellow countryman Brian Harmon, but but winning convincingly in the end, uh, a second, uh, I beg your pardon, a seventh consecutive mm. um, major winner, which is I don't know how often that happens. Um, but what was special for you about this win, and how did the South African golfers fare? Yeah, um, as you say, 117th U.S. Open, so obviously got great tradition there. Um, seventh consecutive um, debutant or, or maiden major winner, which I, I believe has never actually happened before. So a bit of history made there. Um, yeah, the, uh, another great tournament, a nice course, first time they've ever played a uh, major on the, on the course, only 10 years old, which is quite amazing for it to host a US Open. The wind picked up certainly over the weekend, golfers struggled a little bit towa um, towards the last um, 18 holes, certainly on the back nine. But uh, Brooks Kupka, as you said, um, sh fired a 67, five under par in the final round, which is a fantastic effort to win by four shots. Um, so, you know, he, he's now up to 10th in the world, I believe. Mm. So, you know, he's, he's always been there or thereabouts, played in the Ryder Cup for the USA before, but certainly he's, he's, made, he's made in major. From a South African point of view, not a great tournament. We had eight players that started the round, mm -hmm. uh, the tournament. Five of them made the cut, but Louis Urs hasn't turned out to be the best of the South Africans, but he finished down in tie for 23rd, which is a little bit off the pace. Obviously, you know, we're still waiting for another major winner. But um, it, it wasn't to be this, this week. Um, Americans actually pretty much dominated the leaderboard, apart from Hideki Matsuyama from Japan. He was the only sort of non-American in the top couple there. So you know, another great um, US Open. They really um, test the golfers more so than any other tournament in, in the world. You know, the rough is sort of knee deep and mm -hmm. it's very difficult to advance the ball. Um, I think the major talking point was the, the failure of the top golfers in the world to actually shine. I think six of the top 10 heading into the tournament actually missed the cut. There was no Jason Day, no Rory McIlroy, no Dustin John Johnson, you know, all who were amongst the bookies' favorites heading into the tournament. They all missed the cut. So you had a whole lot of new faces coming through, which was obviously great to see. Mm. Golf's obviously in a very happy space, apart from Tiger Woods, <laughs> you know. Um, so everything seems to be going along swimmingly there. So, yeah, the great um, second tournament. Obviously, all eyes now on the Open Championship um, next month in, in, in July. Um, you know, hopefully we have an eighth um, straight um, maiden major winner.